for smaller parties like in Canada, the Greens or the NDP, um, there's often a very broad support for these parties that crosses large geographical areas. So in Australia, like in Canada, these smaller parties can collect 10% of the vote or maybe 20% of the vote. But unless those 10% of the vote are concentrated in a single riding, they're not going to get anywhere near 10% of the representation in Parliament. Even if 10% of the broad population supports these ideas, um, you know, you have to, as those parties really do this geographic focus to try to get um, over the threshold in one or two ridings. And so in Australia, you know, there's only ever been one single uh, Green representative at a time um, out of 150 representatives in, in the lower house, um, even though the party has consistently polled, you know, around eight or 10 percent. So they should be having, you know, more like 10 to 15 representatives. So th these systems do systematically uh, suppress the voices and the ideas of smaller parties. And th these are parties that are trying to, to change the dominant narrative in society.